Okay, this is uh, the new Acelero Twin Turbo Pro aftermarket cooling from Arctic Cooling. I began to install the heat sinks here. These are a little bit different. Um, they're four, they're a little bit different. I wasn't sure exactly where they went because the instructions just kind of briefly say where they go. Uh, I know these for a fact go here um, and uh, this one here comes specially made for the fan once it goes in it has the space for the copper cooling section to come out and uh, work properly this is working this is installation of uh, the Arctic cooling versus uh, twin turbo on uh, EVGA 250 GTS video card. I was getting some flashes on my car, my temperature was going a little bit up, so I decided to buy something new. These are, of course, the heat sinks for the virtual RAM. Uh, there's four of them. This is the the RAM heat heat sink for the heat pipe position uh, positioning. That way, the heat pipe goes through there. And um, I'm still continuing with this video. Once I finish, you will see the completion completion of it, and I will let you know more about it. Okay, I have all the heat sinks installed right now for the EVGA 250 GTS. I like guess I was saying earlier, uh, this is. Okay, I've completed installing the heat sink on and the fan on the new on the old 250 GTS that I had. Um, I've heard a lot of comments that you have to le let the heat sink glue uh, pretty much settle down or glue on correctly. So I'm gonna leave it there for a few hours or more. Actually, probably try it on tonight. A lot of people recommended. Uh, 24 hours. Some people said it was good after 12. Some were good after two hours. Uh, I guess it depends on how good you clean uh, the area before you start using it. But it fit in perfectly, actually. Uh, I was afraid of using this bridge right here because now the video cards like a 98 GT, 9800 GTS, uh, uh, they've used uh, just the original heat sinks. These right here, and uh, those don't allow these copper pipes to fit through so this all comes together with this kit and this one fits perfectly uh, this is how it looks I have some spare parts here that I didn't use and uh, you can see it's pretty nice I can't wait to try it out it's something I don't know why EVGA or any video card I guess some video card providers um, do provide something like this in, in higher end cards but they should do this to begin with um, just to make it look better goes back uh, one, one thing too once you remove the end part I was worried about this but I guess uh, in order to you know so it stays still on the computer the motherboard you still need to install the bracket back you know, what bracket I'm talking? I'm talking about this bracket right here. You need to install it back on here, and there is enough room for you to to put everything back in. It's proper location, and once it's back in there, you can remount it back onto your board. But there is, as you notice there is more space now this way so always make sure that you know you have enough room for what you're doing in your case etc uh, that's pretty much it I'll make another quick video actually I will just gonna add to this video and uh, once it's running I'll record it so you can see the difference okay okay we're back uh, just uh, wanna continue the video I'm currently recording just wanna let you know I completed installing the 
the Acelero Twin Turbo Pro by Arte Cooling uh, and uh, so far everything looks great you can tell the huge difference from the the fan that was in stock I'll show it to you in a moment and uh, you can see a huge now that I have everything installed ready to put back into the box and just you can see this huge fan it's it's really huge in regard the heating is huge it's more than twice as double uh, twice as much as uh, the original one um, and it has two fans the great thing is that it's not going to be blowing air through the back only now it's actually going to be blowing air through the heat uh, through the heat sink from the top so I don't have to hear that turbo noise anymore these are actually really quiet according to a lot of videos but I will continue this update continue this video and uh, let you know how it sounds once it is actually running and hopefully the heat sinks will stick and I won't have the problem with like other people have said in the past here is the old heat sink as you can see it's just a big block of aluminum uh, it's not actually not that thick just a few parts are a little bit thick see the block of aluminum here and a connection to the to the, the RAM um, was there which is um, uh, not as efficient it, it worked fine in the beginning but now it's just it's just either the chips were are getting older etc but now the small RAM heat sinks here are located in these areas here now on the video card instead of this transfer um, adhesive tape that it had on before and uh, so that's it for now just letting you know how it used to be like before and I actually kept my unit pretty clean getting ready for Battlefield 3 see the fence was pretty pretty decent but look at this look at the difference heat sink only and these actually have copper pipes that help dissipate all the heat into the actual heat sink here and with those two extra fans I'm pretty sure it's going to make a big difference once again uh, we'll retest once I get it installed and show you how it looks installed alright okay now I'm running Battlefield 2 bad company I'm running a 720p and uh, here's the video card after it was installed it's really quiet no more thundering vortex sound there you go it's installed already it's working good fans are running probably about 30% I was checking that last time the grease when they don't go higher than 50 than 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, and actually, I think about and they hit probably around yeah around there about 50, 55 at the max. Uh, but it they've been working great and no other problem has occurred. I let it set for about two hours only. I didn't wait the whole 12 hours, only four hours for that glue to set. But it works great. So that's a quick video. Any questions? Leave your comments below.